What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of a Pokemon Liquid Crystal Walker right here. Yes, Liquid Crystal, the hack game. Yeah, Draven's actually playing a hack game for once in his 10-year career. And uh, yeah, off screen, I did a little something. I actually restarted the game and actually got myself a male Totodile and renamed him Erwin again because uh, yeah, it wouldn't seem proper for a female to be named Erwin and all that stuff. That's kind of how I see it. And of course, I leveled him up to level 10, did a little bit of training off screen and all that stuff too. So uh, now we're ready for our next adventure right here, and that is going back to a new Bark Town because, yeah, Professor Elm called this. I wonder why. I really would. I, I really wonder why he would call us at this hour. I, I don't know. It would seem that somebody may have done something. I don't even know. But we found some interesting Pokemon right here. Pidgeys, Spinaraks, Poliwags, ca uh, Caterpies, and, uh, and Weedles. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. Weedles and all that crud. Yeah, we, we found them all right here and started training against them. And, uh, well... Uh, again, I'm still I'm still kind of at a loss for words playing this game right here because uh, you know I've never ever ever tried to play a, a hack game before. I kept on saying it every single time on every single one of my games that I've ever played or every video that I've ever made. And uh, what really tempted me to play this game now was the fact that well the whole world right now is paused, literally paused because of COVID-19, and. Uh, well, since a lot of you guys have a lot of time on your hands, and I do too, well, I, I guess it would be a good time than anything to actually come out with a few episodes of Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Remember, it, it's not going to steer away from my main games right here. I just want to give you eh, a little bit of something of interest right here. Now, once we're walking by, and uh, I guess we're not going to... Oh, there it is. Oh, there he is. Okay, so you got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. It went like you. Don't, or wait, don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too. I have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. So here it is, guys. Our very first uh, rival battle in Liquid Crystal right here against rival question mark, question mark, question mark. And uh, just like every other dickheaded rival, they will come out with a Pokemon uh, who's, uh, well, who, who's typing is uh, stronger than yours. And uh, good thing for me, I did train my Pokemon up to level 10 because I don't want to get my butt kicked real quickly right here. And uh, here comes a growl attack. Alright, you wouldn't like it when he's mad. Here we go, Erwin, for the win. Get it. That's how you do it right there, guys. Look at that. And, uh, well, question mark, question mark has been defeated. <laughs> Are you happy you won? Yes, I am pretty happy right now. Okay, so my name is... He doesn't say his name, it's just three question marks. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. And he pushes us out of the way. Alright, dick. See, I, I see that things still hasn't changed, so it, it's whatever. Uh, so, I'm gonna just, uh, you know what? That looks interesting right there. Nope, you can headbutt those trees. Now, uh, off screen, I, I was actually getting an idea of what kind of Pokemon team I would like. I'm actually starting to get an idea of what I should be using for this game right here, uh, what I want to use, and, uh, well. I guess you could say that I, I'll be learning along the way, too, because, uh, yeah, you know, Liquid Crystal, Hack Game, and all that stuff. I guess they don't really work the same way as uh, regular games or something like that. It's uh, Everything's changed. Uh, it's whatever. So, going back to Professor Elm's lab right here, he, you, you can see a police officer right there. A herdy Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information for Professor Elm. Apparently, it was some young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Yes, I did. It's question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, that, but, you know, we gotta be specific about this. So, let's see, what's a good name for a rival? We could call him Quijibo, or something like that. Or Giovanni Jr., I don't know. But, uh, let's see, Liquid Crystal. Liquid Crystal. We could call him Michel. Yeah, you know what? Let's call him Michel. So, we're going to be calling this guy Michel from Dodgeball. <laughs> Michel. Okay. And uh, everybody's just messing around right now. Hold on. Hold on. Actually, Michel. Right here. All right. So that's a good uh, rival name. Again, this is a hack game, so really don't care. Don't go straight to the specifics and all that stuff. Okay, so Michel was his name? Yes. Thanks for helping my investigation. Okay. And Professor Elm looks like a Super Saiyan right here. He's like, this is terrible. 
Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? And we give him the mystery egg, and yes, he's like, but this is a Pokemon egg. If this is, it is a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Draven, is that true? That's incredible! He's superb at seeing and potential at uh, people as trainers. Wow, Draven, you may have what it takes to become a champion. You seem to be getting on the uh, on the great with Pokemon too. You should take a Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Draven, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mama. Okay, so I'm going to talk to my mama. And I wonder if I can heal my Pokemon here. Oh wait, no, that's observation. Uh, let's see. Uh, email. Okay, so where do I... Okay, so he says, where do I heal my Pokemon? Okay, so I really don't care about that. So, let's move on, and this guy right here is like, use these for your Pokedex quest, and we get ourselves some Pokeballs, which is always good. And, uh, well, we gotta add Pokemon to our team. I may have an idea of what I want. Or who I want to use or anything, and it, it started raining over here. This is kind of weird. So let's go ahead and talk to our mama and see what she has to say. She probably will heal our Pokemon, save our, our money and all that crud. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? So you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help. But what can I do for you? I know. I'll give you I'll give you this nugget to sell. Now this is new. Mama's never given me a nugget before. Oh, Draven. Almost forgot. I got your little present. Here you go. Oh, okay, okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing right here. Good addition to our uh to 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 this whole thing right here. You must be able to travel around much easier with them, and then uh, now go on. Okay, so we can run now, and uh, well, let's see. I wonder if I could heal my Pokemon right now. Um, uh, well, we could sleep right here. I don't even know. Okay, so never mind. Let's just move on right here and uh, and take care of business. I'm assuming that we, we're going to learn how to capture some Pokemon right now. I think that's what what's going to happen right now. Yes, the old man has stopped us, and he's like, I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? Might as well. Okay. Woo! This guy is gonna teach us how to capture a Pokemon. Of course, it's gonna be a Weedle. This dude, his name is Dude. Huh. Okay, so let's see. What, what, what are you gonna, you're gonna just throw a Pokeball at him. You're not gonna weaken him or anything? I mean, that's how I always taught back in the other regions. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, that's just my opinion right there. And uh, this dude threw Pokeball, and there you go. Weedle has been caught. Okay, alrighty. It's a good, good stuff. Let's see, that's how you do it. If you weaken a Pokemon first, the Pokemon is easier to catch. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. And let's just start running all the way to Violet City right here. And uh, just let's, we're gonna meet a few Pokemon along the way. Like who, 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 who might be a Pokemon that I want to capture? It might be. I don't even know. I got a few seconds to think about it right now. You know what? Screw it. Scratch deck for the win. That's right. That's how you do it. That's right. Okay. So let's see. So we're here in the Johto region, Generation Three version, and. Uh, well, let's see. I think we should check this place out. See if there's anything new. Different kinds of Pokemon pass here. If you catch them all, it look over. Okay. So let's see if we can find a Pokemon here that's worth catching. You know, maybe a Geodude. A Geodude or a Dawn fan or... I don't even know. Hmm. But no Pokemon's attacking me right now. It's raining again. So... Oh! Hello, hello! So here we have a Fanfy. I'm gonna catch it. Okay. Okay, so let's get this. And, uh, well, there's a growl attack. Okay. So, I think, I think I'm starting to get an idea of what I want to capture and all that crud. Um, let's see. From what I've seen in different walkthroughs, okay, I've only seen, like, two different kinds of walkthroughs, yes. It all leads to the Orange Islands and all that stuff, but I'm, a, I'm assuming that this will be an alternating uh, team with different kinds of Pokemon here and there. All that stuff. So let's go ahead and capture our first team member right here. Let's go with the Pokeball right here. Come on. Get in that ball. Stay in the ball. God dang it. Yeah, so this this Pokemon is going to be a little bit difficult right here. And uh, it's not like, uh, what was it? It's not like Generation 2 where the Pokemon just disappears. It literally runs away. And look at that. It's weak. Alrighty. 
Okay, so we got a chance to capture this guy if maybe there's another Pokemon out there that we can capture. I don't even know. Again, this is the first time I've ever played this Pokemon Li uh, Liquid Crystal game, and... Oh, damn. Yeah, homie don't want to come with us. Come on. You know you want to be with us. Let's go. Now, I get it. It's a fan feat, but, you know, how only do you get a ground-type Pokemon? And... Yes! So there you go, guys. Maybe our potential first team member. I don't even know, guys. It's our first team member, maybe. So here it is. Fanfi, the long-nosed Pokemon. As a sign of affection, it bumps with its snout. However, it is, it is so strong, it may send you flying. Oh, damn. Okay, so let's give this Pokemon a nickname. Now, I was just watching The Simpsons right here. And Bart's, uh, Bart's elephant kind of got me thinking. Maybe we should call him Stampy. So that's what we're going to be calling him, Stampy, the Pokemon right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon, Stampy. And uh, look at this, Ground-type Pokemon, Quiet Nature, level 6. It's a very good nature, a very good Pokemon, and it has a pickup technique. Oh, look at that. Of course, its speed is not going to be all there, so... Again, guys, there's going to be changes here and there, maybe, uh, you know, getting my team together and all that stuff. Now, I'm going to run around just a little, check and see what other Pokemon you can find. And th that is one of the Pokemon you can find, a Geodude, okay. Now, I am going to run away because, uh, yeah, I don't have, I don't have Water Gun. Eventually, I will. Okay, so that's a, that's a very good find right there. It really is. Okay, so, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. And, uh, trying to avoid any kind of Pokemon battles right here because we don't want to faint in our first, uh, attempt right here. So let's go straight up here to the Pokemon Center. It looks freaking awesome right now. Now this Pokemon Center looks like it's from the future or something like that. The only the only thing that's missing is the trading area. I don't think you can trade any kind of Pokemon from Look at Crystal to uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green, all those kinds of games and all that stuff. And well, now that we're at it, let's go ahead and sell that nugget that Mama gave us. And uh, let's see, where are you? Okay, so let's sell this thing for five thousand dollars. And, uh, let's see, what can we get? Okay, I want to get three more Pokeballs, because I have a feeling that we might capture a Pokemon here and there. A few more potions, you know, five more potions. And, uh, I'm pretty good with the antidotes right now. So, that is pretty much it right there. And, uh, now it's time to move on to the next town, city, or whatever we're going to right here. And, uh, now if you actually captured a, or if you actually have a grass or or fire type Pokemon coming in here, then you probably would want to capture Poliwag, but I don't think so. Naming it Poliswag again, that probably seems like the idea right there. And, uh, well, now that the trainers are done battling, let's go ahead and try out our new Pokemon, Stampy, right here. And, uh, alright, what do you have to say? I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak? Come on, let's battle! Yeah, you gotta love it. You gotta love the battle uh, songs right here. Youngster Joey again! Man, how many youngsters are named Joey? I want to know that. Alrighty, so not not a good move pull right now. But eventually we'll be good. Okay, so come on, Stampy. You can do this. Stampy again with the tackle. And, uh, okay, so this Ratata hits hard. Come on! Okay, so... Yeah. It looks like we're going to faint first, so let's go ahead and switch out to Irvin, or Irwin right here. Let's go! And, uh, this Pokemon already knows Quick Attack, so, damn! Yeah, we're already facing some pretty good Pokemon right here. That's a critical hit. How's that feel? Does it feel so good? And, uh, well, we defeat Youngster Joey, and uh, as you probably already know, he will give offer us his phone number, which I will not talk to him about. And before we battle that guy, let's go ahead and uh, use a potion right here. That's always nice. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here and see. Lexi, like, so you're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. I guess so. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. We got Michael wanting to battle us. And, uh, alright, Stampy. You're not that strong yet, but we'll eventually get there. And as you can see, our defense is going down right here, too. So, there we go. Damn, this Radita is... Okay, wow. 
So, Stampy's got no chance right now. Let's go ahead and switch out to Irwin. God dang, man. Switch battle. You gotta love that stuff. And, uh, there's a quick attack. And let's go with the scratch attack again. This guy's just gonna use quick attack all, all he wants. There we go. Let's get it again. And, uh, here we go. Scratch attack. Eat it. Okay, and... Okay, and he's gonna be coming out with a Weedle, so I'm just gonna stay right here. I have a feeling this Weedle's gonna be a little tough, and so, let's go with this Scratch Attack again. And, uh, oh god, gotta love those String Shots. You really do. Got to love those String Shots. Here we go, and, uh, god damn it, Poison. Okay, and, uh, so, let's go ahead and heal our Pokémon. Wow, how many potions have I used so far? Ah, uh, god, I hate you. Alright, so here we go, Scratch Attack, and this guy's gonna just keep on poisoning me. And still haven't gotten poison yet. Been hit so many times with Poison Sting, it's, it's... You know, Erwin's got some rough skin right here, and look at that, level 11. Still hasn't learned Water Gun. Yeah, you won before, but you haven't faced me yet, buddy. Okay, so let's move on right here, and no stealing other... Yeah, okay, I've already read this part right here. And, uh, there's another trainer. Should prepare the log battle. And, uh, well, we got a bug trainer right here. Instead of bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so here we go. Book catcher Martin would like to battle, and he's coming out with a Weedle. These Pokemon trainers are. Wow. And there comes that poison sting attack. Not very effective. So, crud. Jesus criminy. Okay, so those poison stings are not going to hurt me at all. Except for if I get poisoned. So I'm going to just try and tackle the crap out of this guy. And still not very effective. And there is that poison that we've been waiting for right there. So here we go. Tackle attack. Not much. Stampy, you're... Yeah, Stampy's not really... Not right, not right there yet. So let's go ahead and switch out to Irwin right here. Oh, crud. Okay, so here we go. Another poison scene. And uh, no poison, so let's go ahead and scratch the crud out of this guy. Almost done. There's another poison scene. And here we go. Scratch attack again. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. Stampy grows to level 7. Doesn't learn anything. God dang it. And uh, coming out with a Caterpie. So let's just stay with the Ruin right here. And uh, let's go right here and just scratch the crap out of these. These guys have some pretty strong Pokemon right here. That's what I've noticed. Damn. Okay, so speed's going down. And here we go again with another tackle attack. Alright. So I'm feeling a little bit challenged right here. Look at that. Okay, so... Look at that. Nearly grows to level 12. And yes, too strong. Very, very strong for you. Okay, so moving on forward. Yes, completely forgot about that one. So good thing we snocked up on uh, antidotes. Let's give that to you. Don't care if you like me or not. And, uh, yeah, let's start healing up our Pokemon right here. Yeah, so let's go with the potion right here for this guy. And, uh, okay, so let's see, let's see. Who else do we need to talk to? Stop moving! Would you look at that? It's Monday, I'm feeling generous today. Here's a little present, and we get ourselves an Ultra Ball. It's not really Monday, the way the day I'm recording this. And before we leave anywhere... Holy crap, this guy's like, my name is Zane! I'm going to be the greatest Pokemon trainer in history! Hey, you look weak, let's battle! Okay! So this is new right here, guys. I've never seen this one before, and this guy has a Porygon! What the? Oh, jeez, okay. Okay, so I don't know why I pressed Odor Sleuth, but right now, this looks like it's going to be a challenge right here. Okay. Again, guys, this is all new to me right here. And, uh... Oh, there's this... Wow, this, this Porygon is pretty tough. So let's go again. And this guy's coming out with a conversion. And what does he turn into? A Psychic-type Pokemon. Okay, so... Stampy, you are... Yeah, you are not that fast yet, buddy. Ah, oh, crud. Maybe, maybe choosing Stampy wasn't the right choice. Let's go again. And here comes another conversion. And we're, we're going up against a goddamn Porygon. Oh, damn. Okay, here we go. Tackle attack. Again. Come on. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. 
Okay, so he's trying to do conversion two. Don't know what that does. And here we go again. Conversion again. And uh, transformed to psychic type. And here we go again with another si uh, tackle. And that was critical. Okay. We got a chance. We do have a chance. And what does this guy do now? Conversion two. And it transformed into a steel type. So now it's a little difficult to just to get to him right there because it's a steel type. Yeah, don't know why I'm battling this guy. Uh, rock type. Okay, so two of the types that really can't hit hard. Uh, my Totodile can't can't hit this guy. Or can't actually, you know, hit him with water gun because it doesn't know it yet. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> Here we go. Come on, convert yourself again. And to a Psychic type. Okay. Okay, so we got one more chance. And please do not turn into a Steel type. What the hell are you doing? Oh, there we go. Steel type Pokemon. Oh god, Stampy, just grinding it out with a tackle attack, and uh, here we go, one more, and that is it. Stampy finally wins its first battle by itself, and uh, look at that, it grows to level 8, which is always great. And, uh, well, we defeated Trainer Zane right here. Wow, I was shattered! Never met you before, buddy. Don't know who you are. I can't believe it, I lost! After all that training, I lost to some guy on the road! I need to train harder from now on. Oh, I didn't get your name? Da -da -da -da. Draven, huh? Nice to meet you. Until next time, Draven. Okay, so that, again, that was new to me, guys. Super new to me, and, uh... Well, I, I'm just gonna be moving on right here now. This is all... Oh, wow. Okay, so, what do we get right here? We got ourselves a PP Max. Wow, we're just getting rare items off the butt right here. And, uh, let's see... Here I have another potion, which is always great, and uh, you know what? I think I should be switching out my stampy because, yeah, don't think it's going to fare well. Now, let's see what this cave does. Dark cave. Huh. Well, you can see something. You can see some things right there, and of course, you're going to be finding Zubats. I wonder if you can find Ursarangs in here, or not Ursarangs, but Teddy Ursa may have to switch my strategy right here. I don't even know. Okay, so moving on forward right here. Let's see. We're very, very close. This guy is probably still snoozing. Yes. Looking for a Pokemon. Is Pokemon where? If I, okay, yada, yada. Okay, never mind. So let's go ahead and grab these two person berries. And uh, that's always great. I think that's, that heals poison. And uh, grab this item. Another Pokeball, which is always good. Very, very good. And uh, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. I got a bunch of Pokemon, let me battle with you! Again, brand new to me. Here we go, Matthew. And, uh, one thing that I've, I'm starting to notice is that a lot of these Pokemon trainers' Pokemon are nice and souped up. Like, I don't think we've ever met a Pokemon trainer in, in the original series that was at level 10 by the time we got to the, uh, the Sprout Tower. That one is, yeah, like I said, this is all new and, uh, yeah, it's starting to, like, I'm starting to see why this is a fun game, because, shoot, man, it's challenging me right off the bat right here, and, uh, here we go. Another scratch, nope. Tackle attack, and these guys like to use string shot like nothing else. And, uh, there we go, and there we go, level 12. Great, does it learn water gun? No, it doesn't. So let's go ahead and continue on with this guy right here. Alright, uh, let's use Rage. So we're slow. We're using Rage. We're going to be hit quite a few times. Rage of 10. There we go. Rage is building. Rage is right there. And let's see. Another string shot. So our Rage does not build, but it's still going to be used, I guess. I don't know. Yes. Rage attack again. It nearly destroys this guy right here. And uh, again, string shot. You got to love it. It, it looks like to me I'm going to be buying a buttload of, uh, yeah, buttload of freaking uh, potions right here. And, uh, there we go. And, uh, there you go. Matthew has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty. So, I'm starting to see what's going on right here. And we got another trainer waiting for us. Should I battle him? Well, I got potions to, to heal my Pokemon up. Maybe Stampy could learn another move, another useful move, in this next one right here. Okay, so, level 12, and you know what? Since it, 
since it is a normal type move, should give Stampy the Silk Scarf. That way it can power up that that tackle attack. So let's go ahead and go with Stampy right here and see what this guy has to say. Beating you is the first step to becoming a Pokemon a JoJo League champion. Okay, alrighty, so let's see what this guy has. It's a cool trainer. Wow, this is a wow! Charmander! Wow, this is a this is completely new to me again, guys. Wow. Should have watched the... Oh, wow. Missed on that one right there. Okay. And uh, here we go with a lot of growl attacks. Should probably get a Charmander instead. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, that's all he's going to be using. Growl, growl, growl. Okay, so... You know what? I'm going to switch to Erwin. Yeah, I thought that Silk Scarf was going to work on me, but no, it wasn't. And, uh, there's another Growl attack. That's probably the only thing it knows. Holy crud. So here we go, Scratch attack. And finally you're attacking me, okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's not very effective, but it's still a pretty good attack. And oh, wow. Uh, God, I hate you. Not really, Charmander, but you're, you're making me want to hate you. And this guy, oh, God. Oh jeez. Okay, so I see what's I see what's going on right here. Oh jeez. Okay. You know, it would be nice to learn water gun by now. I think I should have learned water gun by now or something. Alrighty, here is a scratch and here we go again with another scratch. Give it again and this guy. Oh my god. Okay, so he's making me work for this thing. All right. This guy's making me work for it right now. Okay, and there's Ember, not super effective, and, uh, okay. Jesus, okay, goddamn. Chances are I might have to switch out my Pokemon again. Okay, so let's go again with the Scratch attack. This guy's just going straight off with the Growl attack. Oh, God. You know, Water Gun would seem nice right now. Water Gun will be nice. There we go, we're almost done with this guy. Please do not heal your Pokemon, because if you do, I swear I'm going to go hand... Oh, God. There we go. And uh, Stampy and Erwin grow, and uh, here comes a Pidgey, so let's go ahead and use Stampy this time. See if that works. Oh wow, this guy's got three Pokemon. God dang, okay. Tackle attack, and of course he's gonna be... Yeah, he's gonna be blinding my Pokemon right here. Let's go again. Come on. Let's go again. And it has Gust Attack. So maybe I should capture another Pokemon here and there. It's probably what it's going to make me do right here. And uh, here comes another Gust Attack. Ah, Jeebus. There it is. And there you go. Pidgey has been eliminated. There we go. And uh, Machop. Yeah, I should stay right here. Holy crud. Okay, so this... This is a little... This is scary right here. Holy crud. Uh, Jesus, this guy, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, man, okay, so... This is gonna be a tough one right here, okay. I gotta heal my Pokemon right now. Holy crud. Okay. And it's gonna go with the Focus Energy, so, hey, I better hit this guy quickly. Let's go, Scratch Attack. Low Kick. And that was a critical hit right there, so let's go again. Leer attack. Oh, damn. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. This this really got me scared now. Another Leer. Okay, so we gotta beat this guy right now. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, my God. That was scary. Holy crap, that was scary. Oh, my God. I chew oh, Wow. Okay, so that right there was scary. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's see. What do you have to say? Find a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. Take it to Faulkner. The leader. Okay. Wow. Holy crap. Okay, uh, you're you're there for a reason. I came out too far. Better hope. Okay, never mind. Okay, so here we are, guys, in Violet City. Holy crap. Holy crap. Second episode ever, and uh, already I'm just like uh, at a loss for words with the kind of Pokemon trainers that are out here, especially in this hat game. 
So, stay tuned guys. Holy crud. It's going to get a little bit more interesting in the third episode. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys.